If there's ghosts here, they're fun. They like to play. I'm here at the wine cellar in Ogden. Um, I heard a lot of stories. People said, oh, you gotta go to the wine cellar because it's haunted, there's all kinds of activity. Well, every rational thinking human being knows there's no such thing as ghosts. So I'm gonna go in the wine cellar, I'm gonna go talk to some people and uh, debunk some of these rumors. Mitch, um, can you tell me maybe the first experience that you ever had with something that you can't explain? Yeah. Um... When we first came in and we was putting it together, actually before that was carpet on the floor, we had got in some of our supplies and uh, got my bar stools in. And I was, each bar stool came with a package of bolts and Allen wrenches and stuff. And I knew I didn't need all of the Allen wrenches to assemble a few stools. Took some of the Allen wrenches, took them in the back, came back out, the three or four Allen wrenches that I had left out were gone. They just disappeared. Yeah, gone. And uh, I looked around, I went back and got some other Allen wrenches after getting frustrated looking for those Allen wrenches because I was on a, I was just on the floor sitting on an old green blanket assembling the, the bar stews. And after I got frustrated from looking for those Allen wrenches and shaking out the, the, the blanket and stuff. I went to the back, picked up a couple of Allen wrenches, came back out, and there they were. They're right back there. You know, we work behind the bar, and it's kind of tight quarters behind the bar. Uh -huh. And and when you uh, are serving and stuff, when you pass somebody, you kind of just like make sure you touch somebody so they know you're there. Yeah, you know. Out, so. Yeah, so you're not bumping into people. One night, I mean, I'm I'm there, and I uh, feel somebody passing by me, grab me, and I look back to see who's passing me, uh -huh. and there's nobody there. I mean, that happened more than one time. I was sitting at the bar, sitting in the middle of the bar. Uh. Mitch was on this end of the bar. I felt this. I'm like, oh God, oh God, ah. I turned around and I was like, um, I can't play right now, but we'll play later, okay? And I turned back around. Um, so that was the only really? time I, yeah, just just like that. Really? And there's nobody around other than? Nobody around. We uh, finished some maintenance work and I sat at the bar and we were just finishing up so we were gonna have a beer. And Mitch was about 30 feet away. And all of a sudden it sounded like a 22 caliber gun going off and a glass down here in the wine rack above my head exploded. The wine rack right over there. Yep. Really? Yep. Just like somebody's gonna wash it in hot water or something? No, it, it nobody had washed the glass. It would have been hanging up there all day. Just, or all weekend. Just, I mean it was just like we were just whoa. Oh, it was crazy. Oh, it was crazy. Really? Yeah. Clarissa, is there anything that you've seen or heard that you really can't explain? Your dad says, he's like, you gotta talk to my daughter because she's seen all this great stuff. I was actually up in the cubby area and I, I was out and about shopping, doing something one day, stopped in to just say hi uh -huh. and walked up through the stage area back by the bathroom and I saw a lady sitting on the couch and couldn't really make out her face so much. So I cut back through the back and came up to the bar and told them, hey, there's a lady up in the, where the couches are at, someone go get her a drink. I go in the office, I guess they searched this place high and low <laughs> looking for this lady and came and told me there was nobody. Ben was the piano man. The piano man. Yeah, just a guy getting up, walking from the piano. Like the piano right up. Yeah, just like, 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 as even though he had just finished like, playing. Like, really? Yeah. I, actually, I was sitting at the bar and I was looking that away, and it was like jaw dropping. So 
so it was like you got out of the corner of your eye and you're like, did I see that or didn't no, I see that? No, or no, no, it was, yeah. It. Yeah, it was one of those, you <laughs> catch it out the corner of your eye and you look and you see. I know. How often does something like that happen? You know, pe different people have different experiences at different times. I help build the kitchen down here. So when you come into this establishment in the, in the morning or whatever and the lights aren't on, yeah. it's pretty dark. And you have to travel through it in the dark to get to the bar area to turn the lights on. And back at this end, at the far end, I saw a really kind of bright gray light flash across the end of the, the bar area down here. And I stopped and went, did I really see that? And I thought, well, was it a shadow? And I... It was probably your, your belt buckle reflected. That's well, really. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've gone to the bathroom, and I'm in the stall, and I hear the door open, and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> and no one's there. Really? So, yeah. They're, they're very playful, though. So I've seen the speaker monitor the knob. Uh, turn up while the music's going up oh, and nobody's back. Yeah, I was really? cleaning off. Yeah, I was cleaning off the table and I was like, music's going up. When I looked up, the knob was going like this. Ah. Oh. So. See, yeah, they're very playful though. They're not harmful down here at all. I've never been tapped, but I've left stuff in here late at night. No. And I do talk to the ghosts though, and I tell them I'm not here to play. I just came to grab some files and I'm out the door. Leave me alone. I do, and uh. for the most part, I feel like they listen. I feel like they get a little more physical with my father because he's always, he's here more. So I think they know him a little bit better. Exactly. I don't know. But I kind of tell them, hey, you know, look, came to grab some paperwork. If I sit my cell phone down, can you please leave it there? <laughs> And I'm on my way out the door. So maybe they didn't make a call. I know, no, not on, not. That's that's very long distance. <laughs> in the in the far background here, you can probably see. We've been sitting at the bar before, and you can see shadows. You know, out of the corner of your eyes, shadows walking around up there. You know, not for a long period of time, but you can. Something that catches your eye. Yeah, that's crazy. Prior to this kitchen going in here, there used to be steps back here into where we built this kitchen. And I remember a young lady sitting at that very end bar stool and literally did a 360. To, and she asked, did you not see that man? And we like, no. I told her, no, I didn't see him. You know? But it's just, I don't know, it's, it's an old building. It'd be nice when I have ghosts and wash dishes or something. Man, let me tell Wouldn't you. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you. No, I'm not scared, but when I come down here by myself, I do flick on everything. <laughs> because and then I tell them, look, I don't I can't play today. Please don't jump out and scare me. And then I go on about my business. Because Lord knows ghosts are only in the dark. They're never in the light, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, they are in the light. They are in the light that we've seen them, but I just want to let them know, look, please don't scare me today. <laughs> Please don't scare me today. You know, we can we can be friends. Don't scare me. And I've never so, had them scare me. Well, I'm very skeptical. I hope I hope something happens. Well, see, I, I believe I in them because I've seen my great grandfather before. So I believe in them. Uh, see, I'm I, I I'm the only I think I'm the only one here that doesn't believe. Everybody tells me I'm crazy, and I think everybody else is crazy. And you got to be down here more often then, because we had one non-believer down here, and uh, yeah, you don't see him anymore. But they didn't scare him. It's just that he's scared of them. <laughs> Well, I, I hope I see something. I sure, that'll be great. Too. I Alrighty, I cool, Steph. Well, I really appreciate your time. Thank you. You're welcome. Cordell, I've talked to five or six people. I've talked to the owner. They all seem, they've all convinced themselves that there's something down there. So maybe you guys can convince me otherwise. I don't think you can, but. Well, that's what we're here for. We're here to find out and try to validate some of the claims downstairs. What, what do you, what's your opinion of the, of the stories you just heard? You know, they, they truly believe them. I don't think they're lying to me. I mean, they believe it wholeheartedly. Well, are you ready to investigate with us? I'm ready because we're not going okay. to find anything. Well, tonight you're going to be with us. You're going to be a member of Pulse tonight. Sweet. All right, let's okay. go check it out then. Okay, right. let's do it. Obviously, there's a lot of stories here, and they can't all be seeing, seeing things. I mean, there's something real happening here. Um, and it used to be the Masonic 
uh, temple, I guess, years and years ago. Um, so hopefully we'll find something. I still, we'll, we'll find out if it convinces you. <laughs> yes. Maintenance man. That's the other thing you gotta be aware of is smells. Oh, Unusual me. smells. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta turn these lights off back here. If you whisper or make any type of noise, just yell out, that's me, that was me. Because whispering, when you whisper, uh, even, even me, if I whisper and I'm listening back to audio, mm -hmm. A lot of times I can't tell my own voice because when you whisper the frequencies change and you really don't sound oh, okay. like you normally do. So we try to eliminate that from the audio. But the problem is everybody whispers. It's it's a tendency everybody has. So um, be aware. yeah. So anytime you make any noise, if you burp. Say that was me. <laughs> if you <laughs> whisper, you have to own up to it? yeah, you have to own up to it. What we normally do is uh, all these audios, we have about 30 of them. We only use probably about eight to nine. But what we'll do is we'll place them in the hot spots or what they uh, claim most of the activity is. And like this is one area. And we, um, there's voices heard back here. So we're going to put an audio here. And I'm going to probably, I guess I'll do this. I'll place it like that. So I'm going to say that placing it facing east and there'll be a flash and what I do is take a picture for reference for when I go through evidence of where this one was actually placed with a picture flash as soon as it charges okay so now we have a reference and that recorder will stay there Basically, there's no reading in here whatsoever. Go back this way now? Yeah, we'll just kind of stand here in the middle. Right. Watch. If you want us to come in, then we'll come in and talk to you. Right. And this is where, right here, put audio facing north. Hi, it's Carrie Farrell. Yeah. You need to come in here. This is what we call a, um, a fear cage, actually. Because you're all surrounded all by it, and you just, it's nothing but EMF. This is a chair back here that supposedly he sits in, so I always take this chair. I always ask him to come sit or move this chair, but if you sit in here, I always try to get, and I did have, have the door kind of slam on me one time, but I can't say that was. Anything but, yeah. So I do come in here trying to tick off maintenance, man. <laughs> but it hasn't worked so far. We have a guy out there, he's, he's like, don't, don't make that maintenance man mad. That <laughs> I'm like, why? What's he done to you? Nothing, but I feel. Maybe that's why he's <laughs> mad. He I'm like, you're feeling EMF. Yeah, right why are we giving him a real name? Oh, let's let's Joe? set him up, ain't maintenance man. And give you a So I can hear you tonight, then we'll come in and talk to you. So, this is a light. It's an IR, and, and it's called an IR extender. So this camera can see. Yeah, yeah, this camera can see in UV, IR, and visible light. And what's this? Th that's what's called a shadow detector, and I've just been testing it out, actually. We've used it on um, probably about four investigations. Had some interesting results. Um, Apparently, they've seen a lot of apparitions in this building, but uh, especially in this corner and right here. So what I'm hoping to have happen is, even if this doesn't pick up something, on camcorder, we might be able to pick it up on with the shadow detector, and we'll, we'll see if it works. I'm still testing the shadow detector, so um, I'm going to set the date. Do you prefer there being men back here? If your answer is yes, come up to this green light. If there's anybody here, come up to the green light. Or I might have to send Cordell back here. Do you remember Cordell? Do you remember me? I'm Carrie. Me 
make a difference if I put it in further there? Yeah, you can try. Bill, let me get out of your way. I'll tell you what, I'm going to step out and let you guys go and maybe send Cordell and... Hey, Cordell! Do you want to come back and see if you can tick it off? <laughs> and then make it love me and light up when my name is said? I had my hands like this and I was playing with my ring and I saw the, the light of you guys coming around the corner and I looked down and it was on. Huh. Well, it definitely And I picked it up solid. and I shook it a little bit. Huh. It's brand new, so it better not be <laughs> not functioning. I mean, it could be an issue with it, but that's definitely, that's a hard button. Mm -hmm. It doesn't just push in easy. It doesn't seem to be loose. Mm -mm. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, see? oh, there we go. That's the problem. There is a... There's a loose connection in it. Yeah. Debunked. Sorry. Cool. Nope, that's cool. Basically, you're talking to someone who you can't see. Okay. And a lot of people, when they first start doing it, just went to a point one. Uh, might be picking up that. A lot of people, when they first start doing it, feel really paranoid and really dumb doing it. Uh -huh. I talk to myself all the time. Well, so, so do I. So, awesome. <laughs> I even answer myself, so that's the best. <laughs> I like my answers, too. So, you know, basically, one of the first things you want to do is when you start off is I always like to introduce myself just as if you would with anybody else. So, hi, my name's Carrie, and I have some friends with me. And then I'd have you guys say your name. And names. I'm Farrell. And I'm Jerry. Or JD. And, and, and Bill's and Bill. over there. But I thought... See, it's confusing now. We need a different name for the maintenance man, Bill, because we already have a Bill. Well, bill and another bill reason two. we say the names, I have everybody say their names, is because then we get used to your voice. We can kind of associate your voice with your name. So we introduce ourselves and um, just like, just start asking questions like basic stuff you'd want to know. And I'm going to put it on a... And see, it's actually picking up, see that? And it's actually picking up your light, your camera light, is altering the, the light that it's seeing, so it's actually picking it up. It's playing a little song. Um, yeah. <laughs> and actually, like I said, we're, we're testing them and, and I've had some good results, but as you know, um, They've seen a lot of apparitions in this area, and this is one hot spot right here by the bar, and then back here. And then we also got the piano area, which Carrie's going to set up, and I'm going to set up a geophone um, on the piano, and hopefully, uh, if the piano actually plays, because that's one of the reports is that they've heard the piano play notes, that maybe we can at least verify. And I might have to adjust that. What's your name? Now, we may not hear with our ears, uh -huh. but when we play back on the audio, we could pick up an EVP. Um, see, so just went to point one and just jumped back down. Um, if you actually hear something with your ears, then we call that a disembodied voice, and that uh -huh. can happen, and that can be well, freaky. Well, it up on the recorder. It would also pick up on a recorder, usually. You'll hear it with your ears, too. Um, but we also have some devices out here. None of this is going to hurt. You always like to explain nothing will hurt them. Um, see, I'm running my hands in front of it. Nothing hurts. It is supposedly a way for you to communicate with us. So if you're here, if you come up to the green light, or this light here, they'll change colors and it will help you communicate with us. We can do yes and no. And we're not here to chase you away. We're not here to harm you. We just want to communicate with you. That's another important thing is, is you want to talk to them like, like I said, like you were talking to me. Yeah. And you want to kind of let them know you're non-threatening at first. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how the day goes. But, so see this green light? If you're here, can you come up to this light and make it change colors, please? This is a geophone that picks up vibrations. It's one of my favorite pieces of equipment because 
There's all kinds of areas and things you can do with it. So it you gives watch you mine go off. Yeah, it gives you immediate feedback, and I like things that give me immediate feedback. Um, now we're going to probably play some audio here. Carrie's going to place a camera because this is one of the hot spots um, that apparitions are seeing. So hopefully we can verify something. So if anything hits or bumps this piano, it should go off. The geophone will. We've caught it playing, but they've never actually caught it with any of the keys depressing. But the sound is coming from the piano, but none of the keys actually ever depress. Move. Yeah, move. So maybe it's a player piano, and it's malfunctioning, so the keys won't work. No, it's not a player. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, see that? It's even picking up my footsteps right there. Holy moly. Those are me. Someone's moving or talking, so we'll just mark the audio say 240. Can you come say hi to Farrell? Is that one of you, y'all, making that noise? Me, sorry. Okay, thank you. Farrell and Bill have come here. Oh, point two. We're jumping up to point two. Okay, well, that's something you can do. Can you raise this meter? Can you make this go up to a point three? Please? If you're here, I'll count to five. One. It goes down. Two. Three. Four. Five. That is ice maker coming on. So we have to mark every noise we hear. Oh, okay. So, so you don't go back and spend an hour. Well, trying yeah, to yeah. What it's it's like what's what's that? All right. Can you change the temperature? Seventy-two point one. Can you bring it up to? Let's just go seventy-four. I prefer eighty, but I'll go for seventy-four. <laughs> <laughs> 72.3 bring it up please piano man we really want to know that you're here if that piano started playing I would run out of her screaming no you wouldn't 72.3 piano man we can't believe that you're real if you don't show yourself or let us know so you have to say something or do something. You look pretty tired. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm a, I'm a little tired. It's been a long day. <laughs> yes, it has been a long day. But, you know, we have, we have equipment set up, and the goal is just to capture anything um, that might pertain to any of the stories that we heard. You know, and if, if we can do that, I think that would be great, and obviously for Mitch and the people that work here. Now, whether that, even if we do pick up something, whether that'll persuade you in any way or change your mind, I'm not sure. Well, I, I, I got to say, so far, I haven't, I, what I expected, a whole bunch of nothing. You know what I mean? And I, I feel like I'm being insulting, and I'm really not. But I just, I, I feel foolish sitting there, you know, just talking to something that may or may not be there. Yeah, and I understand that. You so, know. and I don't know, maybe, maybe, um, when you go back and listen to the tape, maybe there'll be something there, and then... And, and there might be, and, and honestly, um, you can't predict when an area will be active. You know, I, it, it's interesting. Um, I've been in places where I thought, well, this is a waste, you know, there's nothing here, we're not gonna... And we've picked up 40 EVPs from the place, and it's gone, yeah, it's been crazy. Um, and it's just the way it is, you know, if we could call an entity on demand it would be great yeah it'd be great <laughs> and i know you're looking for that evidence and we might find it still you know it might still be here and um obviously there's a lot of stories here and they can't all be seeing seeing things i mean there's something real happening here uh this is facing towards the piano Alrighty, I'm here with Cordell and Carrie. Um, we went, did the investigation at the wine cellar. Um, the only thing I really found out at the wine cellar is I was tired. That's, I mean, I didn't, 
see you were here. I think you guys were making fun of me holding that thing and I was walking around. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but you, you claim you got something, right? So what yeah. is it you have? Um, well, as you know, we finished our investigation. We did catch a few things. Um, the first thing I wanted to show you, and this isn't evidence, okay? We've classified this as non-paranormal, but it was the only physical thing that occurred that night. And what it was was a picture that was up on the ice maker, the ice machine. Well, <laughs> we were doing an EVP session, and I happened to say, you know, I don't think you're here. Make your presence known. I want to do something so we know you're here. And about five seconds later, this picture flew on the floor, okay? Now, <laughs> the problem is it was on ice maker. Yeah. So... I, we can't label as paranormal. We tried to duplicate it. We actually refilled it with the same amount of ice, put it back on the uh, ice maker, and actually stuck the lip off further so the whole thing wasn't on it. And the ice maker came on about seven different times. It didn't budge one-tenth of an inch. Huh. But like I said, since we have no video or pictures of it prior, uh, or this occurring, we can't call it paranormal. We did catch some, what we classified as valid EVPs. If I can get control of my piece of here. And go ahead and put the headphones on. Okay. Now about halfway through here, you should hear a whisper of a male voice. And I'll just let okay. you listen to it. And you. So which one of you guys was whispering? Uh, it, it had to be you. It couldn't have been, couldn't have been Carrie. <laughs> no, it was none of us. Uh, I'll play it again. Okay. You know what it sounds it's, like to me? I was gonna, it sounds like somebody saying, hell no. That's exactly That's what I was exactly going to say. What it is. So, <laughs> is that it really? Yeah, but I was like, yeah. I can't say it on camera. And th this, was, this was from Saturday. The back, right, yeah. in the back. So this was this was Saturday, yeah. right? And here's another one. I'm gonna play for you. Okay. And uh, hold on a second. You should hear this. It's kind of weird. Okay. I'm gonna highlight the area. This one so is really. We would classify this. On a scale of one to five, five being the best, we would scale, uh, classify this about a one maybe, because it's really light and it's around the six second mark. And I'll uh, play that again. So do you is it saying hurry? Well, or is it saying Yahoo? Yeah, hootie? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's like, a different investigation. Oh, like, how, how you? How you? Yeah, so, like, there, how there, 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 there was there was a you something in there definitely. Yeah, yeah you can the, the U stands out, and if we and what I normally do is I'll slow down the tempo, don't change the speed, enhance the volume a little bit, but how are you is what we've decided it saying now. Like I said, this one's bad quality. Um, we'd rate it. Probably a D minus. <laughs> oh, just like just like me in school. Yeah. Just like me in uh, school. Then that's that's why. <laughs> so what what's your impression? Why I load another one? What's your impression? I, you know, part? how I mean, how many hours of tape do you listen to get this one little uh, snippet first, and then I mean. Well, honestly, that's one of the things most of the other shows they none of the shows show you. I mean. We can end up, like the wine cellar, we probably ended up with around 80, 90 hours of audio. And then another roughly, through, well, maybe six hours of video. So the video, but the video is harder to listen to than the audio. Did you catch anything? It. Did you catch anything on video? No, we did not catch anything on video. What's hard is when you have to listen to the same conversation no, three or four yeah. different times. And honestly, <laughs> um, what we do is that's why we have multiple recorders in each room. Uh, in this, or I should say, in the same room. So, if an investigator thinks they caught something, we can also listen to this other recorder. What did that recorder catch? Did it also catch the voice? Did it actually verify that it was maybe one of us? 
Um, or you, in this case. <laughs> yeah, it would probably use me the way I run my jaw. So do you, do you have anything of when we were sitting there asking, asking um, questions? Well, because actually, what I just said is what occurred. I was listening uh, to audio earlier in the week, and you and Carrie were sitting on the couch doing that, and you both heard something. You thought it was a voice. And it was interesting because Carrie uh, and you responded and thought it was me. Oh, it was, that was probably Cordell. And then you said, well, that's maybe Bill's camera. And uh, to me, it, it was this woman moaning. So what I did is I sent that clip to Carrie. Carrie listened to her audio, plus she had a camera, her camcorder, I don't know, five feet away. She verified that it was one of our investigators, Jamie. And no. So. Yeah. And that was a case where, because we can't just take, go, oh, wow, that sounds like a, it doesn't sound like one of us, so it must be an It was entity. exciting, though, because you really wanted it to be. Because, like, man, I well, I did, because I wanted to show you a clip with actually you yeah. talking, but. No now, work. here's another one. Um, I was doing that to you again. And I'll let you, and Carrie probably should be the one commenting on this one. Like. Patrons, customers back there. Okay, what? Women. Okay, can um, you hear that? Let me let me yeah. play that one more time. Listen to about a second after Robin? I start it. Like patrons, customers back there. Seeing what? Women. I hear I hear um, I hear customers back there, and then I hear um, dunk dunk like. Well, it, when you listen to Robin speak, what I found interesting about this, there is a, a male voice speaking over her. And it, it's none of us. Um, you, can hear Cor you can hear Cordell come in right after that. Yeah, I am at the end him. of the clip. And it's none of us. And you can hear uh, this voice that I've never heard before. And here, I'll play is it for you again. Is this back by the piano? Yes, this is back by the piano. My patrons, customers back there. Seeing what? Women. Uh, I'm like, getting you know, absolutely it nothing. Like, nothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, let me play like it one more attitude. time. Just one more uh -huh. time and we'll move on. Because mm -hmm. I can't take all day with you, Farrell. I know. I, well, like most people can't. Patrons, customers back there. Seeing what? Women. It Do you hear like, that? It sounds uh, okay. like customers I'm not getting back. It goes, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, and what I hear, and again, you know, that's one of the problems with EVPs that aren't class A or that we would rate top quality. Top quality, you, sh there shouldn't, you should be able to play it for multiple people and they'll hear it exactly and know exactly what is being said. And one of the problems with this clip is Robin is speaking, so you're listening, yeah, you're, you're listening to those two voices simultaneously. Yeah. I and, but what I hear is, who is this? That's what I hear see, really now fast. See, I, I hear, mm-hmm. Yeah, see. So we but, don't and I hear agree. nothing. So. No, but the we one hear thing something. I, <laughs> the one thing I am pretty positive on this clip, it is a vocalization. And it isn't one of us. I so, think it's female. Um, and like I said, it, since it's the lower level EVPs or the lower level quality, you'll get a lot of disagreements. And so the main thing to do on those is just make sure, are these real vocalization? It's not a mechanical noise. It's not somebody dragging their foot, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, and that, that first one, that first one was there. I, I, without a doubt, heard something whispering that very first one you had. Okay, uh, let's open up another one. Uh, this one, okay, this one. <laughs> there's, a, there's one that I fi found very, very interesting that we caught. Let me just get this open. Okay, now this is really light, Farrell. I'm going to play it again. Um, At the beginning, fact, it sounded like somebody was talking, but then it... I'm going to up the, our volume a little bit. So, here we go. Oops. It's like a little... What I hear is, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. Well, what I think, and this is interesting because this audio recorder was further back in the bar. Um, I hear a no, but again, it's low quality. Mm -hmm. um, 
I'm not going to say 100% that's what's being said, but it seems to be a vocalization and it's one syllable. I prefer not to have one syllable EVPs um, because it's they're, they're usually marginable. Would you agree it sounds like a female? It could be. Maybe it could be. But it's, it's marginable. See, I, mean, I can't tell if it's I just did anything like... It kind of sounds like a, a dog yelping in the background. Yeah, yeah, kind of. <laughs> a little toy dog. Okay, yeah. well, and like I said, that one, that one is low level... I want one that says, hello, Farrell, I'm a ghost, here I am. <laughs> How hard is that? I have one somewhere that says, bye, Angie. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's, we got just two more. This one is, I'll set this one up. This one is actually from my recorder, and it's at by the back entrance at the very uh, east end of the bar. Um, and it's in the area where um, some of their stories that you heard from the wine cellar of apparitions of a male and, and stuff. So let's listen to this one. Okay, that's it right there. It's like you can you can hear it, but then it's not like there's somebody else saying something. There, there is, is someone in the background. There is somebody at the you know where the pool uh, tables are. Uh -huh. There was two investigators there. This recorder was on the very far end, on the opposite end, and this appears to be a male voice to me. And it's closer to the recorder. I would place it near the kitchen or the start of the bar. And to me... Back by where those swords yes, were on that's, the... Yeah, that's where it sounds like it's coming from. Do you want to hear it again? Yeah. Before you, okay. It sounds like Walter Cronkite saying <laughs> writing. <laughs> it, it does have that authoritative... It does, huh? Yeah. It, and I hear a male voice, and I'll just go ahead and tell you what I hear it saying. Um, and this one's pretty clear because you can tell this is a voice. I yeah. mean, when you hear it, it goes, okay, somebody is saying something. It almost something. sounded like um, a TV in the background. Like, I can, I can hear it, and I can tell that it's right. male, but I can tell what it's saying. But, yeah, so this one, you know, we would rate as a two and a half. Somewhere what in do that you area. Think it says? I, I, know think what I think it, it says. Okay, and me and Carrie, we, and, and I think it's great, you know, on these type of quality EVPs uh, or low quality, we, we disagree all the time. Huh. Um, but like I said, when, when we have that situation arise, the, the key is is it a valid voice? I think it says hi. I thought it said hiding. Um, what did I say just a minute ago? Okay, well, let's do that because we got writing. one more. Oh, you know what? Yeah, it Hiding might, it might right. actually. The ing at the hey, end. You know, I'll I'll switch my opinion on that one because <laughs> it, it actually. Now that I listened to it this many times, yeah, wow. I could think it, it be says, saying that it's hiding from us? So and so far, that's been the best one. That one's like there's 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 something there. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. And one but last one. They're not always willing to come out. I mean, it's it's a gamble. And this one I found to be the most intriguing. Again. It's from the same recorder at the very back on the east side, and this voice again sounds like it's coming near the bar where the swords are, the mm -hmm. entrance to the kitchen. Um, and we'll see what you think this is or says. Okay, that was it, I'll play it again. That's that's somebody from the from the the team, right? No. no. Come on. No, it isn't. No. What do you <laughs> no. hear? It it sounds. Uh, play it again one more time. Let me up the volume just a little bit because there's a lot of background noise. After all, uh, I thought honestly, I thought maybe it was you. No, 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 no. It's no, there's actually no investigators um, within probably 40 feet of this recorder. And we verified it with other audio placed where they were, so it's not them. Yeah. It sounds something to me like, will you help me, or can you help me, or... And it could be. Kill. I, it almost wow. sounds like kill. She's morbid. You got to scare me. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> Honestly. That's why he's hiding, because she's going to kill him. Well, when I caught this, when I caught this, um, uh, this one, I listened to it over and over. I upped the volume. I changed the things. To me, it does sound like kill. It's kill or heal. And it's very it, close. It listen sounds like it's a couple time. words to me. It sounds like more than one word. And we'll let you listen to it one more time and see if... It sounds like a southern kill me? drone. Drone yeah. out. Kale. It does have a southern yeah. draw to it. Kale. It, it could even be a name. I mean, it, it's there's Kale. definitely a K sounding at the first. Yeah, time. not listen to it again. But so we could always look up for a kale. It's it, it it sounds like it's more than one word to me though. It sounds like it, well, that's too drawn. Yeah, maybe. Kind of got that southern drawn. Okay, now that you've heard what we caught, this is what we caught. And granted, we were uh, I think we investigated for approximately four hours. So you heard all the stories, and. Um, ah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your opinion? I, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's tough to say. I mean, I'm such a distrusting person. And I know you guys are, are honest, and I know all your stuff's up front. But to me, it's like, now just messing with me now. Now, now they're <laughs> like, all right, bro, we're going to show you something. Um, I don't know, because, I mean, there must be something there. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little intrigued, but I think that's, that's, you know, and tell, and tell her there to, to say, well, yeah, there's something there. <sighs> well, I tell you what, I think what that means is we're going to have to do another. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we'll, we'll see what we get. So. Alrighty. Thank you very much. Thanks. Sir. Appreciate it guys. Yeah. Okay.